Now we're going to talk about the rights ethic. And I've mentioned the rights ethic a little bit already. This comes from the Enlightenment. And particularly John Locke. So the basic premise of the rights ethic is that everyone has certain kind of God-given rights that we all have to respect. Now, in the United States, we think of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Those are kind of God-given rights that no government can bestow or take away from us. Okay? It also means that other people cannot bestow or take them away from us. Now, the problem with this is that these rights can sometimes wind up being selfish demands, they can wind up being entitlements, and exactly where these rights begin and where they end is also difficult to define. Let me give a couple of examples. In the United States, we talk about things like freedom of speech. Okay? So, in other words, I have a right to say anything that I want to say. Does that mean that I have the right to say hateful, racist, insulting, threatening, or incendiary comments to other people? Well, technically, because I have freedom of speech, I have a right to say those things. But does that mean I should say them? Does it mean that I have a right to make somebody else's life miserable just to exercise my right to free speech? Does it mean that I have a right to um, firearms, even if that means that that would mean I take away somebody else's right to life? Does it mean that I have a right to be a jerk, a jerk in a workplace to such an extent that someone quits and therefore they are denied their right to the pursuit of happiness? So you see, it's kind of difficult to navigate these things. Um, and again, thinking of the rights ethic, this would be a great example of the differentiated individual ontology. We're all born with these kind of rights and this is within my own bubble and no one else can take that away from me. In our next video, we will talk about the theory of justice.